Hi guys, and welcome to my entire perfume collection video. As you know, I do work in the industry, um, so this is going to have nothing to do with the cruelty-free vegan um, part of my life at all because none of these fragrances are cruelty-free or vegan. This has been probably one of my biggest requested videos from you guys. Um, you guys want to see my full collection of perfume, you kind of wanted me to talk to you guys about um, the notes in each of them or which ones are my favorite, stuff like that. So this video is going to be probably a little bit of a long one, but I think it's worth watching because you get to see basically such an enormous, enormous amount of um, fine fragrances and get to know what they really smell like from someone who works in the industry, which is me. So if that interests you, please keep watching. Also subscribe and like this video if you got some value out of it and really enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or just, you know, want to support me. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Taking you guys over to the perfume. Alright, so here's perfume, guys. It is a very large collection here, and I'm just going to sit over here and kind of take you guys through each of them. Okay, so the first perfume I'm going to show you guys is um, one of my newer ones that I just got, actually, uh, Mark Jacobs gave them to me so I'm really excited. Um, Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. It is this blue bottle here. It is super pretty. Um, this is a light fragrance. Very light, floral, and sweet. Um, it is an eau de toilette which means that it's not going to last as long on the skin as an eau de parfum. From experience this lasts for about two hours tops and then you do not smell it anymore and that is tops it could be an hour that it just completely wears off um so i will link i will put the pricing up above here somewhere on either side i don't know which side yet but you will see the prices of each of these perfumes uh, i'm not going to go through the um full notes because it would just be a never-ending video um, but I will link the website where you can look up the notes for each perfume okay so I'm just saying if you um, have a perfume allergy or you um, don't typically like like very strong fragrances I would highly recommend the Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs or an Eau de Toilette in general which are typically lighter than the Eau de Parfums so that is Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. Second one I'm going to show you is Bella by Vince Camuto. Looks like this. Now, this fragrance was my summer 2016 fragrance. It is one of my probably favorites because it is so different from any other fragrance out there. It has a very fruity scent to it along with a hint of sweetness um, it just smells like a tropical summer vacation without having any coconut or vanilla in it because I know that some people can get a little bit nauseous over that me included myself after a while this is just the most perfect summer fragrance if I had to choose any it would definitely be Bella by Vince Camuto next fragrance is this is called Jasmine Noir by Bulgari. It is an Eau Parfum. It lasts for a very, very long time. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. It is perfect for the businesswoman. It just smells so sophisticated and be perfect for an office. And it could range, I would assume, from ages 20 and up. Um, definitely. I, I wouldn't recommend this perfume for a teenager. I think it's a little bit heavy for um, that young of a girl, but oh my god, it's so, so gorgeous. It has amber in it, and I love, love amber, but this amber is not too overpowering. 
it is just gorgeous. Next one I have to show you is actually a small bottle of the Live Irresistible by Givenchy. Um, it has pineapple in it and it's very, very, very sweet and um, fruity in the way of basically the only fruits in this perfume are the very, very, very sweet perfumes. Um, very, very sweet fruits. So it is a very sweet perfume. The pineapple in it is extraordinary. It makes it pop and it makes it a little bit different from any other fragrance. Um, highly recommend for the summer also, the spring or the summer. Next perfume I have to show is Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It smells, the only thing that I can really say that it smells like is a creamsicle. So like a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of, of an orange scent. It literally smells like an ice cream. Um, it's very sweet. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little, it's, it's, it, it's perfect for the nighttime. I would say this is more of a nighttime fragrance than daytime. Um, but yeah, it smells incredible. And I was there for the launch, um, on State Street in Boston and it was, um, a really cool experience. So I would highly, highly recommend checking this perfume out. The next perfume I have to show you is Signorina by Salvatore Ferragamo. It is an auto parfum. It is a lighter auto parfum. So it, once again, if you're sensitive to perfume, this might be a good one. Um, I wouldn't say that it's one of my favorite ones, but it's definitely very, very pretty, very feminine, um, girly. I would say teenager definitely could wear this. Um, and yeah, I, it's, it's a really nice one. It's just not one of my favorites. Now this one I just had to include because this is not a perfume. This is a men's cologne. And this was the first perfume I ever bought. At least I thought it was a perfume. When I bought it, I was, um, I just turned 16 and I had my um, birthday in Boston at the Prudential Center at a hotel in there, Copley Plaza. Um, and we walked on Newbury Street and I was 16 years old and I was like, you know, like I really want to buy something on Newbury Street and say that I bought something on Newbury Street. Um, and I walked into the Burberry store and I saw this fragrance sitting there in their little collection and I knew that I couldn't afford anything else in the Burberry store except for a perfume at the time. So I spent my birthday money that year on this, um, this men's cologne that I thought was a woman's perfume. And smelling it just brings back that memory and that's why I kept it. Um, but yeah, it's called Burberry Summer, and I don't even know if they still make this. Probably not, but it just, now now that I like am older and I work in perfume, I know for a fact that this is a cologne. Like, this is definitely not a perfume. It doesn't even smell like perfume. I don't really know what I was thinking, but um, they probably looked at me like I had five heads in that store. But hey, I got my Burberry bag and I got to walk down Newbury Street with it. The next one, I bought this on my own actually. It's Pink Sugar. Um, that's the name of it. It's an eau de toilette, but... I gotta tell you, this is the strongest eau de toilette I have ever smelled in my entire life. Um, this perfume will, if you don't like shower on the next day, like you will still smell like this. Like you will smell like this for days. Like it's insane how long this stays on you. And actually this has been around for a long time, which I didn't really know. I actually discovered this through Kathleen Lights. She had posted probably about a year ago that she loved this scent. This is the sweetest perfume I own by far. It literally smells like candy, like cotton candy. Guys go crazy over this perfume. Um, whenever I wear it, like somebody always has to comment and ask what I am wearing. Um, and it's, I, I got it on fragrantica.com actually. I don't know where you can still get it today, but yeah, this is um, definitely like, I wouldn't even call it an auto toilet. Like I would call it an auto parfum. Next perfume I have to show you is this. It is the Summer Romance by Ralph Lauren. 
This is um, this was limited edition actually. Um, we don't even sell this anymore at Macy's, but um, yeah, it's just a very clean, fresh scent with a tiny bit of sweetness. Very, very light. This I purchased myself. This is dun, 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 Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It is the jumbo bottle. This retails for $136 at Macy's. Um, I bought it on freegretzika.com for way cheaper than that uh, about a year ago. This was one of my first perfumes that I ever wore. This my Nana bought for me. This was, I think, um, it was either this or Red Door by Elizabeth Arden. That was my first fragrance ever. And this fragrance will forever remind me of my childhood and trying on my Nana's perfumes, always. Um, but nevertheless, this is a perfume that I always recommend to people that do not like strong scents. And 99% of the time, those people buy this perfume. They um, absolutely love it. And actually, this is an eau de toilette. It is not an eau de parfum. So that being said, it is very light, um, but it does last on your skin all day. So once again, it's an eau de toilette that lasts. And... Um, this is still one of Macy's best sellers. And then we have one of my very old teenager perfumes. This is the Paris Hilton Harass perfume. Um, I remember I like fell in love with this bottle when I was younger. I think I was like 14 when I got this. Um, I think I got it from Kohl's at the time. I don't even think they make this perfume anymore. But um, yeah, it's just a very sweet perfume. And it just brings back a lot of memories, which is why I still have it. Because it's definitely no good anymore, but it still smells like my childhood. The next perfume I have is a little tiny bottle of this Alien by Thierry Mugler. Uh, I was just given this recently, actually, around Christmas. Um, this is such a unique perfume. It, um, I love the story behind it. If you've, I've, I've been to a few of their events. Um, they're just a very cool, innovative brand, pretty much. The way that they create their perfumes are so incredibly cool. The shape of their bottle is based on the buildings in India, and it's just so, so cool. Their bottles are based on architecture of India. Their scents are made in India, and they're made in such a unique way that no other brand has ever done. I actually really, really love Alien. It is such a unique scent. Once you smell it, you will know exactly what it is. It's one of those. Um, there's nothing that smells like it. It's a very sophisticated scent, and I get all, all age groups. I would say probably mid-20s and up. I wouldn't usually recommend this for a teenager. Next perfume is Le Absolute by Narciso Rodriguez for her. It is an eau de parfum, and it's very, very elegant. I would say this is for an older generation. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for anyone young. I would recommend this for someone probably in their um, 40 plus range. Um, but I still actually really like it. It's definitely not my favorite one that Narciso Rodriguez has. I'll show you one that is my favorite. It has a lot of... I would say musky florals. Next perfume is this perfume by Bulgari. It has frosted glass. It is called Ata Blanc and Macy's no longer sells it. Um, it is a perfume and I wore this a lot in college actually. It's strong, fresh, and sophisticated all at the same time. I don't even know what the notes are. I would have to look it up. Again, I'll have all all the information in the description box below. This is a great like everyday fragrance. Next perfume I have to show is this Chloe. It's called Love Story. It is by Chloe, and it is such a gorgeous everyday fragrance. It is parfum, and it is light and fresh, and it is my favorite. Chloe. It is actually the only Chloe perfume I like. I love the bottle. I love everything about it. I think it's just so feminine, so romantic. It really is a very 
romantic scent. Um, and I would wear this definitely during the daytime. Next scent I have to show you guys is Angel and Demons by Givenchy. Um, this is a strong perfume and it has an edge to it. It's very edgy smelling. Um, it's, it can be worn during the day or at night, but there's nothing that smells like this. Nothing. Nothing. It is a very, very unique scent. It has jasmine, um, a f cranberry, tea, and that's what it says here. You can definitely, definitely smell the tea in this, which I think makes it extra unique in the cranberry, and it's just addicting. It's so it's really good. I really love this fragrance. I wore this a lot actually um, in college too. Next perfume is Jimmy Choo Flash. It's definitely a really nice little elegant bottle. This was gifted to me by my boyfriend years ago. Um, I loved this when I was a teenager. Um, it's it's more of a nighttime fragrance. It is an eau de parfum. Um, and yeah, it's just like, a, I would definitely recommend this for a teenager. I don't think that I would wear it so much now, but if, if you're a teenager, if you're in high school, I would highly recommend this perfume. Next fragrance I have to show you guys is Midnight Romance by Ralph Lauren. It's a passionate, sensual fragrance. Um, it has peony and black vanilla in it, and it's just really very rosy. It has a lot of rose in it too. It's definitely out of romance right now. There are three romances by Ralph Lauren. There's tender romance, midnight romance, and then the regular romance. I have the regular romance and the midnight romance right here. I'll just do two in one, <laughs> two in one here. This is the regular romance and this is the midnight romance. The regular romance is a lot lighter um, it's still very floral. I recommend this perfume to people who do have um, sensitive noses to perfumes. So I would recommend the light blue and I would recommend Romance to them. Midnight Romance is much more floral. It has a lot more flowers in it. Um, and yeah, they're both, but they're both light perfumes. So I would say this is for nighttime, this is for daytime. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is this bottle right here. Very, very unique bottle. It is by Thierry Mugler. It's Angel Muse. It is definitely a nighttime fragrance. It has chocolate and hazelnut in it. It is very sweet and spicy at the same time. Oh, it is to die for. This is literally a scrumptious fragrance, and I would highly, highly, highly recommend picking this up, um, especially if you don't like the original Angel, which is, I'll do another two in one. This one right here is the original Angel, gorgeous bottle. I love the way they design their bottles. They put so much thought into it. Tu Mugler in general put so much thought into his art. I believe he is a fashion designer and he is amazing if you've ever seen him. Very out there, very, very artistic, very different. Um, so this is the original Angel. It is a heavy, heavy fragrance. This is the strongest fragrance I have. I am not a fan of it actually. <laughs> um, it's too strong for me and it's too strong for a lot of people. But then there are those ride or die fans who only wear Angel that I deal with. A lot of clients I have are Angel addicts and they will only wear Angel. But Angel Muse is a great alternative because the original Angel just has the chocolate in it and this has the hazelnut and the chocolate and it is just a magnificent creation. <laughs> highly recommend. Now, the next collection I have to show you is Versace. I have three Versace fragrances and they're all in the same crystal collection. So you see these three right here. We have Yellow Diamond, Bright Crystal, and Bright Crystal Absolute. 
My favorite one out of these three is the Bright Crystal. It is Versace's number one seller. I like it. It is not my favorite. Um, to me, it's just an average fragrance. I hate saying that, but it's true. It's just average to me. Um, I don't think there's really anything special about it. I don't think there's anything special about the majority of Versace fragrances, except for one that I um, really like that I have here. This is Versace Eros. That's what it looks like. And it's a very nice bottle. I am obsessed with this bottle. Um, and this is definitely my favorite Versace fragrance by far. It's an Eau de Parfum. And it's just, it's, it's unique and it's very good. And this brings me to my first fragrance I ever had, which was um, Elizabeth Arden's Red Door. My Nana gave me this perfume because she used to wear it and I used to love it. I used to love smelling my Nana's perfume when I was little. I feel like I've always just been addicted to perfume. I've always loved it. Um, so I've had this ever since I was like probably 11 years old. So that's really gross, but it's still like without spraying it, I could still smell it and it smells exactly the same and it just brings me back so far. It's amazing how perfume can do that. That's why I love perfume so much. It's amazing what the senses can do. Um, and yeah, it just reminds me of my Nana. So it's very, very, very special to me. The next perfume I have to show is DKNY Be Delicious. And this is a very popular fragrance. I feel like a lot of people have had this in their lifetime. It's been around for a while. It just smells like apple and cucumber. That's it. It's just very um, citrusy and fruity. Um, cool little tip with this is that if you put it in the refrigerator in the summer, it literally becomes the most refreshing fragrance you will ever smell in your entire life. So I would really only recommend this for summer. It's not my favorite though because, I don't know, I think I grew apart from it. Next favorite fragrance here is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. I love the bottle of this. I don't think I'll ever get over how pretty this bottle is in person. It's, it's spectacular. Um, but this smells like coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. And it is such a gorgeous fragrance, especially for the nighttime. I would definitely recommend this. Um, it doesn't last as long as other perfumes I have, but when you first spray it, it just smells so delicious and decadent. And oh, it's just, it's really, really nice. Next fragrance I would, I have is Aqua di Gioa by Giorgio Armani. It is a very, very, very fresh scent. I recommend this to my clients who have perfume allergies also because it's so light and so fresh. And um, I, I love this perfume. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I recommend this to people who like light fragrances. Next fragrance I have to show you is Mon Paris by Yves Saint Laurent. This is probably one of the most unique fragrances we sell. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is so gorgeous. Main ingredient is berries. It's very fruity and sweet and spicy at the same time. And oh, it's addicting. You will not be able to stop spraying this once you start. It's really, really nice. I really love the way they created this fragrance. Next fragrance I have to show is C by Giorgio Armani. It smells absolutely amazing. It is one of my favorite fragrances. I always wear this when I go out at night. Um, very sophisticated, very classy scent. Uh, very, 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 very sexy scent. Extremely sensual. Yeah, um, men love this. <laughs> and my next perfume is Dahlia Divine Eau de Toilette by Givenchy. It is absolutely gorgeous and it stays on for a long time like it, it acts like a perfume and it smells amazing. I actually wore this earlier this week um, during the day and yeah I, I it's it's a really pretty perfume. 
The next perfume I got does not have a cap on it because it's technically a tester and if I had the cap I could show you how pretty this bottle actually is but they give you they don't give you a cap for a reason because it looks like a purse um, I'll insert a link with a picture of it down below in the description box it's just a gorgeous bottle with the cap on it but this is um, Marc Jacobs Decadence. It is an extremely strong perfume. It will stay on you until the next day. Um, it's one of those. Um, it is definitely pretty. You only need one squirt of that, that's it, or else it'll just be overpowering. Very, very classy. It's for someone who's um, probably has their career by now and is about to have kids. Next perfume, same thing, doesn't have a cap. Um, this is by Calvin Klein. I just had it sent to me. Um, this is Endless Euphoria, and I absolutely love this fragrance. I actually asked for this fragrance because I love it so much, and I think it's so underrated. Um, it's very sweet. I just sprayed it because I had to. It's, oh, it's such a clean, light scent with a little bit of fruitiness and a little bit of sweetness. And if you can't tell, I like pretty much that type of fragrance, something that is sweet, something that is fruity. But it's so light and when it dries down, it is just the most gorgeous fragrance ever. I, I really, really, really like this. The next fragrance I have to show is my number one favorite fragrance of all time. It is also probably my favorite bottle of all time. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. It is such a classy, classy bottle. I love the gold embellishments. Um, yeah, so this is my favorite fragrance of all time. It has amber and jasmine in it. The jasmine is what I like most. I love fragrances with jasmine. It is such a sexy, sexy fragrance. I wear this day, I wear this night, I wear, I spray it on as soon as I get to work. I wear this all the time. It is my favorite fragrance ever. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. It is the one for me. <laughs> my next fragrance is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Now this is Jacqueline Hill's signature scent, I feel like. She wore it for her wedding day. And once I started working in perfumes. This is the first one that I went over to go smell because I just love Jacqueline. I think she's an amazing person. I think we're very similar. I can totally, totally see why people pick this from their wedding. It is not just her that picked this for their wedding. I get a ton of brides at Macy's that come in wanting a new scent. I recommend this to them and probably 80% of them walk away with this fragrance. They just love it. It is so gorgeous. It's so floral and light and sweet and it's just you can definitely smell the honey in it therefore I know for a fact it's not even close to being vegan um, but it's an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous scent so I would definitely definitely recommend this for someone for for anyone I literally feel like it's for anyone next fragrance is this michael kors sexy amber and it is exactly what it is called it is sexy and it smells like amber and yeah it's it's just very classy very sexy very sensual fragrance it, this is a small bottle of it um yeah i really 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 love this fragrance and um it's probably my favorite Michael Kors fragrance out there besides the new one that just came out called Wonderlust, which I do not have yet, but that I think is my favorite one. This is my second favorite. It's it's really gorgeous. I would say Wonderlust is for daytime and this is for nighttime. Next fragrance I have to show is this Gucci Guilty O. And this is Gucci's new fragrance. Um, it is their newest one. You can tell because it has the frosted glass, whereas the other Guilties just have the plain glass siding. This fragrance is so gorgeous. I asked for this one specifically, and they gave it to me. Um, yeah, this just smells absolutely incredible. 
it's definitely for someone a little bit older someone who's probably in their middle 20s and up I wouldn't recommend this for a teenager it is very sophisticated this actually is not an auto parfum it's an auto toilette so it doesn't last as long as some parfums but it does last for a decent amount of time for an auto toilette um, yeah it's just gorgeous I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a Gucci fragrance my next perfume was purchased by my boyfriend. It is the most expensive perfume I own, and it is the second most expensive perfume that Macy's sells. It is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This is a ridiculously priced perfume, but in their defense, nothing smells like it. Like when people ask, What smells close to Flower Bomb? I don't have a recommendation for them because I literally tell them there is nothing even close to Flower Bomb. Um, either way, do I think it's worth the price? No, I don't. I really, I, I don't. Um, nothing, it's $168 for this bottle. It's crazy expensive. It's a gorgeous, very pretty, very girly, very feminine for all ages all ages teenagers 70 years old all ages I swear I swear okay maybe not 70 years old maybe like teenager to 50s I would say um, I know a lot of women I work with wear this too um, yeah I this is a really really nice fragrance and I'm so glad I have it but I don't think that I could justify buying this myself. <laughs> Next fragrance I have to share is one of my favorites and it when I was talking about the Narciso Rodriguez perfume from earlier, the Le Absolute, I said that I had liked another Narciso perfume more than that and this is it. This is Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. It is an auto parfum. It is a gorgeous bottle. I love the way they did the bottle. Um, and yeah it is captivating this fragrance is captivating that's how i would describe it and it's just sensual and elegant and it's when people say that they like fragrances with musk in them i immediately walk them over to narciso rodriguez because they use a lot of musk in their fragrances once again definitely not vegan um but yeah absolutely incredible this is for someone um, a little bit of an older generation definitely not for someone in their 20s yet I like it anyways um, I would never recommend this perfume for someone in their 20s or 30s or especially teenager but I would recommend this to someone um, probably 50 plus it is um, one of those like older scents like some of my friends compared this to an old person perfume but you know what I I wore this for like a while. I wore this for a, a, a long time actually and I still love the way it smells and I'd still wear it to this day so am I old? Maybe but whatever. Next perfume I got from Christmas from Chanel is Coco Mademoiselle. Now this is probably the classiest bottle I own out of any fragrance I have. This is definitely the classiest one. Um, this is Macy's number one selling fragrance. Out of any brand we have, this is the number one seller. Um, I, I sell at least one bottle of this every day. It's just incredible. It is classy, period. Hashtag classy. It has orange in it, and I don't typically like fragrances with orange in it. In fact, I never... I, 99% of the time do not like fragrances with orange in them. I don't like orange scents. I don't like the fruit in general. I don't like the way it tastes, smells, or feels, or anything. I hate, I just don't like oranges. Um, but this is has grown on me. I hated it at first, and it's definitely grown on me, and I'll wear it for very special occasions. I'll wear it for weddings. I'll wear it for um, date nights. I'll wear it for holidays, stuff like that. Next fragrance I have to show is another Chanel. It's Chanel number no. five low. It is their newest fragrance. Um, it is my favorite. 
Number five fragrance. I don't really like any of the other number fives. The original reminds me of my Nana and the Au Premier, which is right here, um, is was created for the younger generation. It still smells like an old lady to me, honestly. I, I just, I can't like it. I don't know, I just, it's not really my thing, but I do love the bottle. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite number five fragrance from Chanel. It is the new one, it is low. And it's lighter and a little bit more floral than the original or the premiere. Looking for a number five and you're younger, um, and you want a Chanel fragrance, maybe the number five low. I would recommend more the um, Coco Mademoiselle, but my favorite Chanel fragrance I do not have. Um, it is called The Chance Autandra. It's in the pink bottle. That's my favorite one. And last but not least, my the last fragrance I have is from Bath & Body Works. It is not a fine fragrance at all. Um, this was gifted to me by my Nana, and as you can see, I used a lot of it. Um, it's Amber Blush Sheer Perfume Mist. So it's not an outer parfum, but it is a perfume mist, which is different. Um, it's lighter. It's not going to last as long as a perfume. Um, but it is a gorgeous scent. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and again, I really like fragrances with amber in them, so I think that's why I like it so much. So if you're at Bath & Body Works and they still sell this, I would go for the amber blush. Okay, well, that completes my entire makeup collection for now. I'm constantly getting new ones, so I'll eventually have an updated video, but I think this is very wide selection of fragrances if you're looking for one and you wanted my honest opinions of them this is a largely requested video so i'm glad that i finally can get this up for you guys all right well thank you guys so much for watching um subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye